In honor of Independence Day, which happens at the end of this week, we're going to be looking at movies that offer some kind of commentary on America. Primary Colors follows a Southern governor, obviously modeled after Bill Clinton, as he runs for President of the United States. We get to see the inner workings of how a campaign is run as it picks up momentum, gathers supporters, and eventually becomes like a traveling circus across the country. Jack Stanton, played here by John Travolta, is one of the great movie characters. He's deeply flawed and holds questionable personal standards, but there's never any doubt that he has true empathy and deeply cares for the plight of the common man. It's a cynical but very funny look at American politics. I can push a button in New York and move a billion now available for a very small fee on Prime Video. Jobs go where muscle labor is cheap, and that is not here. I'm so glad I made this trip. And with all these chapters, well, that's uh, we have excuse me, though. gentlemen. Hi, <laughs> uh, Mr. Duke. Favor to ask? Nobody's going to believe me when I tell them that I was your personal bodyguard today. Care to take a Polaroid? Spike Lee is not a subtle filmmaker. He makes it clear through his movies how he feels and what he thinks about the subject he is tackling. In this case, he takes a story from the 70s about the first black officer at the Colorado Springs Police Department and turns it into commentary on the state of America today. All right, don't touch me. Great. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Here we go. One, two, three. Jesus H. Christ! <laughs> it ends with a virtuosic montage that features comments made by then-President Donald Trump before transitioning from a movie into a full-fledged distress signal for America. It's one of his best works. Streaming on Prime Video. I must emphasize at the outstart that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is not a politician. Denzel Washington is Malcolm X in this film from 1992, the second entry on this list from director Spike Lee. Like Black Klansmen, it takes events from the past and connects them with contemporary issues to add a relevance to the film as a whole. Not as a Baptist nor a Methodist. In fact, not even as an American. The movie starts with disturbing footage from the Rodney King beating, an event that led to the race riots in Los Angeles the same year Malcolm X was released in theaters. So I have to stand here today as what I was when I was born, a black man. By starting with Mr. King, it's like the movie is saying that even though we're about to see the story of a civil rights leader who was assassinated in 1965, we don't have the liberty of removing that story from the world we're living in now. Malcolm X is a sprawling epic, one that convicts and enlightens at every turn. Now streaming on Tubi. And after America has long passed from the scene, there will still be black people. Chances are you've seen Forrest Gump probably more than once. But when was the last time you saw it? At the time this movie came out, it became the third highest grossing film of all time, behind only E.T., The Extraterrestrial, and Jurassic Park. It was a phenomenon. And sometimes when a movie is a cultural event, we forget to evaluate it first and foremost as a movie. But Forrest Gump is a great movie. It has everything. 
It is funny and heartbreaking and provides a walk through the major events in American history from the 50s through the 80s. Yes, I know that. It also features several shots that quote famous American paintings, which make for some fun Easter eggs. Check out Andrew Wyeth's painting, Christina's World, and then watch this scene where Jenny revisits her childhood home. Now streaming on Paramount Plus. Hey, Ronnie, how are you, man? You look good. You look good. Ronnie, you look great. Ronnie, welcome home. You look so good. It's so good to see you. Ronnie, welcome home. Harry, look at Harry. You look good. Welcome home, Hi, Ronnie. This is the true story of Vietnam veteran Ron Kovic from director Oliver Stone, who won an Oscar for directing this movie. Tom Cruise plays Kovic, someone who enthusiastically enlisted in the Marines and served in Vietnam before being shot in combat and paralyzed from the chest down. He receives deplorable treatment upon his return to America, including a sequence in a veterans hospital that is so harrowing, it's frankly hard to watch. Over time, all his idealism and pride in America vanishes. In its place is the powerful voice of a patriot whose eyes have been violently opened to the country he still loves. This is a reminder that though Tom Cruise has spent the last couple of decades as an action star, he is really a capable actor with a tremendous amount of depth. Streaming now on Netflix. It's good to have you.